uh, kind of like the the relic toxic deluge slots are certainly um, certainly flex slots. Um, the fifth threat, I guess you could say, it's kind of a flex. Let's see. I guess about I guess about five. Storm doesn't play cost reducers in Legacy. Could be Storm. Could be Delver. Could be uh, a fair Leovold deck. Please be a fair Leovold deck. All right, sweet. We have Tron already, so that's our bomb. Yeah, yeah. Storm and Legacy is based around Infernal Tutor and Lion's Eye Diamond. Sweet. Leaning towards fair deck. It's a pretty good hit. Spell Pierce. Okay. Could still be a Sultai Delver deck. Hopefully they cast like a Baleful Strix here. Liliana would be kind of annoying. It's not that bad, I guess. This technically, this isn't technically a cantrip. I guess I could just deluge this away. Hey, look, a map. Um, I'm just gonna snag that, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and, do I wanna play this out now? That's a real question. Um, playing it out now exposes me to abrupt decay, leaving it in my hand, exposes me to discard. So probably better to not expose it to discard. Some of these decks aren't even playing abrupt decay. If they don't kill this, we could pop this and then get our Tron piece and play Thought Nuts here next turn. Jace here. Delph threat? Looks like a Delph threat. Yep. This is actually kind of sweet because now I get to, um... That was the last one. I get to spot check for counters and then I can, uh... Deluge to clean up the board here. Let's also keep Leovold at home for a turn, so I don't have to take damage from that. Oh, let's let some draw a card. It's fair. Forgot about that. Force, Force, Baleful Strix. That's kind of unfortunate. I guess we're taking a Force. this come into play probably yep and the question is do I want to lose Karn or do I want to lose Eugene here no I don't think so all right so now I can deluge and then Ugin as a follow-up seems that seems fine I have to lose five life to do that. But then, like, I have Karn to follow up afterwards. I think that's fine. Huh. Is it Karn? Like, the problem is, like, Karn targeting any of his stuff lets them draw cards. Whatever I cast is getting countered, right? I feel like I feel like any of these cards I can play and they'll counter them. So I should just like deluge into Eugene. Unfortunately, we don't get to draw a card because Leovold is out here.
They might just let this resolve. They, they have to draw a card here. Okay, perfect. And they have a Baleful Strix left in their hand. So the question now becomes, do I want to trade my Eugene for the board? I think I do. Do we know their last card's Baleful Strix? It's like, what do I want to minus here? If I trade, I could trade Eugene for the board and just like have Thought Not Seer and Karn versus Baleful Strix. That's probably the line, right? Just like get rid of all of it. I think I'm just supposed to do that. Otherwise, like the Gurbag attacks here, then like they get to draw more cards. Like the cards I have right now are better than what they have. So like they have like two randoms versus Thought Not Karn in the top of my deck and I'm at seven. So like that seems fine. Play. They don't have like actual factual counterspell here. They're in a lot of trouble. I guess they could have force plus another blue card. I would love to pay two. How about we take that last card out of your hand? Him to Torhak, sure. Oh, they tapped their land draw last turn and couldn't him us. Brutal. This cycle for black. So we already have a green source in play. Yeah, sure. Play no stone. Why not? I guess I should have. Yeah, I'm gonna mine this card actually. Let's just go ahead and start attacking. Get him dead. How's was the thought not been? Thought not's been good. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to, when you have like four Tron priests as an eye, to be able to eye for something meaningful. That's the, the, the highest upside for it, it feels like. Eight counter on Carney Boy here. Now that I have a backup card, I'm just going to be aggressive with this one. There, yeah, sure. Still got to beat this card in this O Stone. Plus the top of my deck. Let me tell you about the top of a Tron player's deck. Things that are things that are hot, 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 hot. The top of a Tron player's deck. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we have not we've not hit the five zero yet. We've not hit the five zero. We had another four one last night, but have not not done the old undefeated yet. <laughs> oh no, Snapcaster Ponder. This is just kind of like the waiting game, right? We're just like hanging out, waiting for, waiting for another threat to come off the top of our deck. Yeah, I missed, uh, I missed cashing the first two that we played because I made a lot of mistakes and the build was kind of bad. And I've missed, after, after we've kind of smoothed things out, I've missed cashing one of the last nine leagues that I've played. The, deck, the deck's super consistent. It's just like it is in Modern, right? Like, tr the Tron deck in Modern is one of the most consistent decks in the format, right? Like, you play so many cantrips, you have Ancient Stirrings, you have a bunch of Sylvan Scryings and Expedition Maps that are basically Demonic Tutors. Like, you see so many cards in this archetype.
Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should be holding some lands just as like him to Torok insurance for these other cards that I have. Oh no. Oh no, don't don't hurt my Karn. Don't hurt my Karn. Honestly, um I think I'm going to like down tick this Karn on a Badlands, or maybe uh yeah, they just doesn't really matter. Or a down tick this Karn on something and then play another Karn out. You have a bolt? Oh no, I'm so unlucky. They had remember that time they spent five damage killing my Karn and then I was at seven? I feel like I feel like they misbandaged there a little bit. How about a second guard? Is this a concession? What's this? Are we done here yet? Way your green source go. Opponent is definitely like let the record will certainly reflect that my opponent tried their hardest to this game. The record will certainly certainly reflect that they gave it the old the old college try here. Send him up to ten. Go ahead. Your turn, opponent. Sometimes you show up trying to be metagamey and beat Delver, and you get Tron. You know you should you shouldn't be metagamey trying to beat Delver if you don't want to get Tron. It's a good it's a good life lesson to live by, folks. I don't think so. This board's actually a little bit medium against these control decks, but like these control decks are good matchups. So I think it's fine to be medium here. Is Deluge better than Brutality? Probably. I think I just want all the sweepers in this matchup. The discard's not terrible, though. I guess they have, they have Gurmag Angler, too, right? So the Relic seems good. It could make that worse. Do I want... I have, like, one slot here. Could it be Brutality, or could it be Pithing Needle? You've had the card emote for a while. A couple, a couple weeks now. I tweeted about it. The Needle for Jace could probably be fine. It also, like, turns off their Deathrite Shamans randomly. But the Brutality, yeah, I'm going to leave the Brutality, and it punches through their discard, their counters a little bit. I think this is fine. Pretty biddable boarding. It's literally just like swapping a Brutality for the fourth O-Stone. Okay, so this matchup's pretty good for us. If we see Wastelands out of our opponent this game, we'll, like, bring in some Pithing Needles, but most of the time the opponent's deck doesn't play Wasteland. Easy mulligan. Uh, that seems, like, not exciting, but it's fine. That third trod piece right back there on top of my deck where it belongs. A storm. The card that counters all of these storm cards comes in against storm. So the storm matchup's the one, the one matchup that's kind of hard with this deck. Feels really. Feels tough to the point of unwinnable, so that's the matchup I've been working hard to fix. Delver's tough, but like, definitely felt better than Storm, so I've been working to fix the Storm matchup. Lucky Tron players. Those lucky, lucky Tron players. So, I think I've come to the conclusion that if you're playing Tron and you don't feel you're getting as lucky as I get when I play on stream, it probably means you're not mulliganing enough. So one of the things the Tron deck does better than most other decks in, in, in any format, really, is that this deck mulligans really well. Just, just all the things. All right, let's crack this for green. All right, sure. Just Karn things here. To curve Karn into O-Stone, blow it up. I can play a Jace here. It is okay to have bad matchups, but like when you're when you're building a deck, the thing you should be doing is like working to make those bad matchups better, right? Like that's that's actually what you want to be doing. All right, I'm just gonna not Karn on three, and I'm gonna cast this Deluge for three. Force me. Yep. And then next turn, we could O-Stone and crack it, because, like, this carning their stuff lets them draw cards while this is out, so it's, like, not super appealing. They have a counter for this O-Stone we could be in trouble. JK. JK. And I'm going to use my life total as a resource here to time walk my opponent. Um, so basically what we do here is 
we get to they're gonna get uh five extra damage out of this which i think is nah now nah, that's probably not okay right yeah that's probably not okay let's just do this now i don't think i'm okay with that let's just clear that out otherwise they're gonna get to hit us with leovold plus it like i could i could wait to hold the o stone and like take a leovold hit plus take a death right shaman drain yeah it feels a little bit medium but that's fine I'm going to crack this relic uh, proactively because we know they have Gurmag Angler in their deck. Am I just going to play the Ugin? Yeah, I'm just going to play the Ugin. If they have Spell Pierce, they have Spell Pierce. Oh, they're auto-passing. That's convenient. Choo-choo, go. Yeah, and again, like, that's the question you always want to be asking yourself, right? Like, how do I, how do I manage to lose this game from here, getting burned out? It would be how we lose that game, so that's why it's not worth using my life total as a resource there. Always, always be thinking about things like that. All right, so let's relic here. Let's blow it up. All right, provide a trod piece. We can cast that card. Tron, 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 Tron. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit Dragon here. All right, I'm willing to get stifled here, I think. I'm not sure why our opponent's still playing magic. What do you want, Declan? Show me your show. What show do you want? I like how they're in the tank here. Just like, they have decisions that matter. Like, even if they stifle us, like, there's still a card and an Ugin on the table. Are we gonna call against command by Ugin in response? Man, look at the value. Look at the value. I'm not going to get to ultimate by Ugin. Look, if you want to be cute and metagamey and try and beat the Delver deck, you deserve to lose to Tron, okay? If you're going to make your deck worse than Delver against a bunch of stuff, you deserve to lose to Tron. That's, I think that's actually why I built the Tron deck. It's because I was tired of people playing stuff like this against Delver and like having having a good matchup. So like, let's just crush these people that aren't playing Delver that think their deck is better than Delver. That's all I got, opponent. Your, your turn, I guess. Maybe they're hoping I'll restart the game. Maybe that's their out. Their out is that I'm going to misclick the card and restart the game. Tron has a much harder matchup against Delver. They have Wasteland plus Pressure. It's not Wasteland that kills you. It's the Wasteland plus the Pressure that kills you. Oh, look, now they don't want to play anymore. That's so strange, opponent. Why don't you want to play anymore? <laughs> uh, just trod things. His out is that we fall out of the chair, right? Uh, so planeswalkers don't retain counters through zones like that in Magic. I talk about Legacy Tron versus 12 posts in this article here. Feel free to click into that instead of rehashing what I've already written. Storm. Storm's a hard matchup. So, three traps, three thorns, three thought seizes. Let's go! Then we've got uh, three Pithing Needles to name Wasteland with. And then we've got a Seal of Primordium and an Oblivion Stone to break up Chalice of the Voids and Blood Boons. 
And if you don't, if you don't have one of those three things I just named, Wastelands, a Storm deck, or Chalices or Blood Boons, like, we're probably going to slaughter you, so, like, we don't really need more sideboard cards for you. A Blackout was an out, too. Yep. The internet connection could disconnect it. We could get him. Uh, technically, we have Relic of Progenitus to disrupt them as well. Do I know the rough price of this deck? Um, on Magic Online, to buy every card outright, like 400, 380 or something like that. But it also comes with a modern deck too. And like, if you have modern Tron and you're looking to play this in paper, especially, you could budget these bayous. Like you actually see, I have one Blooming Marsh in this configuration. So like you could swap four of these, three more of these bayous for Blooming Marsh to like make the last one a Land of War Waste. I think I keep this hand on the draw. A little sad if we could waste land, but like if we draw any second land, we're just like in a great spot. If we draw a second trod piece, it's amazing. Basic swamp. Deal. Got two pair opponent. No, I don't own any magic online cards. I mostly just borrow. Like I, ch I change decks enough that like it's not worth it. I might, I, I was actually thinking about buying a bunch of trod pieces so I could just like always have the same trod pieces to play with. Like maybe the 12 different different artwork trod pieces. It's actually a fantastic draw. Cause it gives us five more looks to the land next turn. God, the art on this is so creepy. You playing dead guy ale? Like some kind of Esper thing? It could be Dig Ale. If anyone would like me to direct them to the crossroads at which I sold my soul at to play the Tron deck, I can I can give you directions after the game. Tron, 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 Tron. Just Tron things my opponent said in chat. <laughs> They know! They know it's Tron things! They understand the Tron things that are occurring. This is probably like a Liliana. A Bayou. Bayou. And the sweet thing here is if they have another discard spell, we drew a Toxic Deluge. So we have Ostone and Deluge as sweeper slash removal here. You want a different show again? Gosh, you're fat, little boy. There you go, fat boy. Eat some chocolate. Do you want some chocolate? Do you want some chocolate? Don't make him run. He's full of chocolate. <laughs> God, it's not even fucking real life. It's not even fucking real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh god man just nice fucking thought sees opponent nice nice fucking thought sees that's the uh, all right i'm gonna cut the thought knot and bring in this extra oblivion stone but i think that's all we're doing Good, good qual- Sometimes your thought seizes are better off as thought scours, and there's just nothing you could do about that. They even scooped to turn three card and legacy in indubitably. <laughs> tilt seas. Oh, tilt seas. <laughs> oh, that was. That was truly vulnerable. Truly, truly vulnerable. Doing good, doing awful things to nice, reasonable people. It's possible that my opponent's playing a loam deck, but I guess thought seizes in the main deck indicate they're probably not on Chalice, so I don't think I want to bring in Seal of Primordium in the dark. Tron basically plays an incorporated brainstorm, right? So the real reason why this deck is good and like honestly this card is so powerful It's 
so un like this card's probably better than ponder honestly in a deck like this which show do you want Declan pick easy mulligan here opponent could have wastelands in their deck this has turn three draw and opponent went to five you want the lego show you want legos you want oso you want oso you want super y uh yeah i'm okay with that it's fine pop a star you want that one? Mini Force? I just want all of you to realize that you're sitting here watching me when you, you could be watching you could be watching Super Y on Netflix. So I just I want you to all, all be okay with your life decisions that have led you here. You have an Enlightened Tutor? Do you have like a Stony Silence or something strange or a Null Rod? What do you What do you got that's terrifying for me? I'm racking my brain here. Phyrexis Sylvan, yes, yes, you can. You could try and out card me, opponent. That sounds good. That sounds That sounds wonderful, wonderful. Sylvan Library resolves. I mean, to be fair, they could probably just like blind draw two extra cards with this next turn, right? What is love? Baby, don't hurt Karn. Don't hurt Karn no more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, they didn't take any extra cards. So good for us. God, Octeague. Good thing I have. It's a good thing I brought my Caracus with me. Tower mine, power plant, power plant a Rooney. Oh, oh, is that one good? What do we think, chat? Do we think that one's good? Things that things that cost less than things that cost less than four. Oblivion Stone. Sure. He's plowed. Get plowed, dude. Yeah, they're playing some kind of Ab Abzan mid rangey deck. We'll see if they draw extra cards or not with this this turn. Feels like they'd be pretty liberal with their life total. I would be liberal with my life total if I was them. There's, they've drawn one extra card. It just, yep, just drew, drew two extra cards. Seems good. I agree. I think the Worm Coil engine is just going to, like, start the best farm in the land, potentially. Let's go ahead and crack this for green, since we do this Ancient Stirrings. Uh, yeah, I can do this. Fine. Looking for big scaries. Like an Oblivion Stone. Rid of that Teague and that Sylvan Library. Uh, we're 1-0 in this league, right? Yeah, we're 1-0. Just doing God's work here. Don't mind me. They could have a path to exile. Sure. Sure, your path to exile is resolved. They could have like a council's judgment here and like clean up this car and we could brick for a little while. And you saw you some liberation here. Some liberoonies. What you got, opponent? Oh no! Not a big powerful lingering souls.
Look at that, the perfect greed source. Uh, basically some lands and some sideboard cards. It's very, very close. There's a link to the deck list below the stream. Um, what am I doing here? We're definitely casting Sylvan Scrying. I think we're just getting Eye of Eugene. Put that into play. I'm just gonna take them off their green. I think I want to take them off their green. Cause like Karn's only gonna go to three from this attack, which is fine. And like I could uh, counter him next this turn. I is a pretty big power level upgrade. Hey Jade Kit, I am doing swell. Just trying in, trying in some nerds. GG's opponent. Wait, I'm so confused. Why did we attack Karn with only two of them? Oh, because they're conceding. Sure. All right. This is good, 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 clean Karn living. Oh. Tron, 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 Tron. While we're waiting for the next max to pop, I would just like to say good morning, afternoon, good night to everyone, wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for choosing to spend part of your day here with us. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I'm a TCG player and content producer. You've led you here at my Twitch page. Maybe you're watching this in the future on my YouTube page. If you're enjoying what you see, please consider hitting, please hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything else so that people find my work. If you're really enjoying what you see and you want to help support me trotting more nerds in Legacy, you should consider subscribing at Twitch, becoming a patron on Patreon. Both of those support myself financially directly so I could spend more time doing this and less time doing other things to make money for the family. Um, you can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal, check out with them. You'll save 8% on your singles orders. Cool stuff. Inked.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including a lot of TCG singles. Uh, using code Jeff5 with them, you could save 5% on your singles orders of Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. InkedGaming.com can help you customize your gaming experience. Using code Jeff12, you could save 12% on your orders of custom uh, sleeves, play bats, and mouse pads with them. You can use your own custom art work or up that you have the right to distribute or select from their wide range of artist work that they have on their site and finally sparedeck.com offers kind of a unique service they will rent you any physical standard or modern deck for a weekend or up to an entire month if you're someone like me that mostly plays online these days you play paper magic on occasion or if you're a really competitive player who changes decks pretty often spare decks a lot more convenient than like trying to work with buy lists and stuff like that so i used them a lot last year and i still use them occasionally this year when i play paper stuff at any rate, we've got our third match here in this league. We've got Tron Peace, Tron Peace map. So let's go! All right, so probably dead. This is good. I actually, uh, this likely means storm. Main deck duresses are usually storm. So this means uh, we'll hopefully get to test out my sideboard plan again. We don't have, taking the Ancient Soarings is smart because that's like our meaningful interaction, basically. We can uh, find Relic of Progenitus with this card. Good, good chance we just die without doing a whole lot this game. No, we don't play Chalice. Our deck plays a lot of one-mana spells. We bring in uh, Mind Break Traps, Thought Seizes, and Thorn of Amethyst in this matchup. Uh, resolves. Yeah, we're not dead yet. Could hit a Karn here and start taking their lands away. Or possibly attacking their hand. I might attack their hand, actually. Probably to make Worm Coil. Yep. The good news is, if we get really lucky and they don't kill us next turn, um, we could draw Kozilek, and that'll let us that'll let us donk out and win this first game. Karn. That's actually probably one of the better draws in our deck. Um. Huh. What are the odds they go off with Goblins game one? Pretty low. I think I'm actually going to escalate this, discarding the Oblivion Stone. Because, like, gaining some life here is actually relevant a lot of the time. 
Wow, their hand is actually pretty bad here. So I'm going to take their Infernal Tutor away and then leave them with Cabal Ritual Lotus Petal. Lotus Petals, just a bunch of mana. They're actually probably going to combo us next turn, right? Swamp. Card? I'm going to play the mine here because if we draw Kozilek or Ulamog, I want to be able to cast those next turn. Looking for bombs. Looking for bombs. All right. We could steal this. That's, yep. All right. All right. Okay, your turn, opponent. We could die here still. They have they have like LEDs and tutors and stuff. And they have two pedals in their hand. That'll lock the game up. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Man, why do we have all these board cards for Storm? Why do we have all these board cards for Storm? I don't understand. How are we... How are we supposed to... Discard a card, counter target spell. Oh, I can use these to counter petals too now. <laughs> tron, 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 tron. Drawn. Oh shit, counter is eight drops. All of your eight drops are belong to me, opponents. All right, as you will. Oh, they drew a land. That's so lucky. All right. We've got two zero counters, two one counters, two two counters. Let's do it. Stop it. <laughs> this matchup gets much better for us post board. We get to bring in 10 cards. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. That's how I board usually, right? Yep. Yeah, Storm was on the playback game too, weren't they? All right. Uh, yep, submit. I think I need to check.
So you can't just mulligan hands that have interaction against the deck full of the full deck full of discard, right? Like we, a lot of the time we need some of our interaction to come off the top of the deck. And I agree we could very well die before we get to play this Thorn of Amethyst, but like I don't think you mulligan hands that have your sideboard cards, your hate cards on them. We can also just like be a professional to draw thought seize here. I'm gonna go ahead and go mine. I'm actually gonna play the Chromatic Star on two here because this way I can cycle this um, to try and hit like a Mind Break Trap in case they take this away. And like, if we don't hit something like that, I could also just like do this into Scrying to have turn three Tron. All right, sweet. I'm just get to auto pass here. Is a gentleman's agreement? Okay. They have two rituals here. I assume we're dead. Yeah, probably. They just have tendrils naturally in their hand. They need a way to flash this back with by getting their hand empty. Oh, they just had they just had tendrils naturally. Okay. So we weren't we weren't dead there until they had tendrils or yeah, storm kills on turn two fairly consistently. Like like legacy which was the next card. What a tilt. It's the next card. Fucking tilt sees. Um, yeah, t t legacy legacy storm kills on turn two very consistently. This format is fairly degenerate. With the de 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 the degenerate decks in this deck are fair format are fairly degenerate. Um, yeah, this is definitely a keep of the scry. Bottom that. There's a trap and a thorn. And a map out of scrying. Like, that's a bunch of cards we like. We get a land on two, so it's gonna be great. They're just playing around a thorn because they know we have thorns in our deck. Ding. Um. Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast this. Just put that into play. Make their cantrips worse. I mean, to be fair, Dredge is pretty terrible legacy. Am I supposed to get a Tron piece, or am I supposed to get a card for this Thought Seize? I'm not actually sure. I think I'm supposed to just get a Tron piece here. Let's, like, have Tron next turn. <laughs> Need to beat this Thorn plus this Mind Break Trap. Like, the fact, the fact that I have Kozilek in my hand right now, I think means I just want to get all the Tron pieces. Mind Tower Power Plant. And now if I hit any Tron piece, I can cast Kozlik. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, Storm will have like Abrupt Decays and uh, Echoing Truths, Chain of Vapors in their deck post board. 
Yeah. Yeah, the best way to attack these storm decks is to be disrupting them from multiple angles. And this deck actually disrupts from all three angles of attack with the addition of Mind Break Trap. Like we have we have counter spells they have to discard through, we have discard they have to draw through, and we have permanent base disruption that they have to take off the board. So we do actually hit them from a lot, a lot of directions. Worth noting we can't cast Ugin next turn because this makes him cost nine. A lot of good draws, though, like Black Sources are good draws, Land Tutors are good draws, um, Chromatics are good draws, we have Relics, you also hit the Yard, yeah, Relic, Relic's basically another piece of permanent base disruption. Yeah, like, Tron pieces are good draws. More thorns are good draws. <clears throat> yep. A good example here, actually. If I had a sphere of resistance in play, I wouldn't be able to cast Kozilek off of a two mana Tron lab next turn. Um, I don't want a Thorn or Sphere type effect against a deck like Elves, and if I don't want it against a deck like Elves, I probably just don't want it at all. Oh, come on. Please cast an Infernal Tutor here. Hold priority and crack your LED. What are they... What are they doing? Mmm. Mmm. This is my mind break trap opponent. Is your mind broken? Is your mind broken, storm opponent? No! It's a trap! <laughs> Tron piece, Tron piece, Tron, Tron piece! Do 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 do. Trigger. <laughs> oh no, my opponent doesn't want to play magic anymore. Come back, opponent. Come back. Come back. Come back. I am a bad person and I should feel bad about the things that we're doing. I don't feel bad though. And easy, easiest three two of our lives. Ah! Tron's like a soft lock for the three two on these leagues. It feels like it's just three two all of them. All shield, no skill. This deck's, this deck's exceedingly fair. Uh, El Weirdo, you know, all my archives get uploaded to YouTube after the fact, so... Again, if you want to see more Tron and Legacy, there are dozens of matches on YouTube at this point. I've been playing this deck a lot. I like it a lot. It's a good time. It's definitely not the best deck in Legacy, but it's it's amusing, to say the least. Pretty easy mulligan to hear. Just no Tron pieces, only one mana producing land. Eye of Eugene does not tap for mana. Things to remember. Um, Tron, Tron, Tron. All right, keep. I'll scry, I guess. Uh, Bayou. I'm gonna bottom that actually. I'm just like looking for looking for bombs, looking for biggity bombs, 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 bombs. Who's the deck, Lynn? Bombs, 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 bombs. You wanna say hi to the internet? Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing it. Sharing your box. If you aren't lucky enough against Tron, with Tron, mulligan more. If you don't feel like you're being very lucky, mulligan more. Tron mulligans very well. Take your mulligans. 
What show you want? Not Super Y? No. You want puppies? We should cut these tiers and just draw a trod naturally more often. I agree. Uh, it's Declan. D-E-C-L-A-N. Declan, which is adjacent to the, the Hoagland that I, that I also maintain. Flooded Strand. That could be fair deck. All right. We're dead. Got it. <clears throat> Check. Ooh. Huh. Man, I guess we should have won the die roll, huh? We don't actually have a lot of good cards for this matchup. Ooh, Shallow Grave. We super dead. Actually, we do we do have some okay cards for this matchup. Shallow Grave means that Mind Break Trap's probably fine. Yeah, it looks like Tin Fins. So we're going to board exactly like we did against Storm. Uh, we'll leave the Caracas in. We'll leave the Caracas in. Relic. Relic is too slow. Nice graveyard, hate nerd. Your dad's a giant nerd who doesn't have good. I'm gonna go, go run this poopy diaper that I changed upstairs. Let my opponent do their thing. God bless the auto pass key. Man, what a tilt. It was auto pass and I had to click OK. Just just turn two legacy things, ladies and gentlemen. Just turn two legacy things. I guess I'll sack these two. Mom's spaghetti, knees weak, arms are heavy, vomit up, but I was so lucky I had natural Tron. Vomit on my sweater already, but I keep on forgetting what I wrote down. The whole crowd roar so loud, I open my mouth, but the words won't come now. I'm hoping now, everybody choking now. Uh, so Pithing Needle's good in this matchup, right? I don't need Eugene, because they don't go off with goblins. I can cut Ulamog, Karn seems fine. Also, I cut usually. Is Trap? Is Trap worth it in this matchup? I'm not sure if Trap is worth it in the mas ma matchup. His Needle is definitely good, right? Just like get to Needle the Grizzly Bees. That's the one that reanimates the Emrakul. Is the trap better than better than consistency I'm gaining from other things is the question. I don't think I want to cut a land because like I want the Caracas. You don't want to cut the eye ever. <laughs> I'm gonna cut a mine, cut the mine break traps, and just bring the needles in here so they can name grizzly bees. Do that. Gonna win with Kozilek and Thought Nuts here.
It's like, uh, again, Sneak and Show, the Pithing Needles are just like randomly insane. Trap is good. What is trap better? Like, I guess... I do this sometimes. Let's do this. Let's do, let's try the traps. I want to try the traps. <laughs> let's try the traps. I think cutting cutting some scryings is fine. We like in these post war games especially we don't need to assemble fast tron. We need to not die. So like cutting. So like collective is too slow on its own, but in conjunction with things like pithing needle and relic of progenitus and mind break trap, collective brutality becomes a real card. Did I get disconnected for magic online? All right, we're gonna we're gonna reconnect here. The stream is still up. Y'all are y'all are still watching me, right? All right, let's cut to the sponsor stream here. So you don't have to watch me log in. <laughs> let's check the magic online Twitter. Okay, Magic Online, let me reconnect. Did I, did I get to sideboard? I would like to play first. Wow, and I'm missing three, oh, well, like even money, even money I didn't get to sideboard. God, fuck this piece of software. Okay, okay, so it has, it just doesn't have our last sideboarding submission. Which we're done, we only have one trap in our deck. Okay, that's probably fine. Hopefully. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep this. Turn one relic on the play is probably good enough to keep. <laughs> just like no indication that I've disconnected at all. It's like zero, zero. Like I was disconnected for three minutes and it never notified me. Don't bite me, you little piranha. I am not raising a cannibal. Okay, maybe I'm raising a cannibal, but I'm trying not to raise a cannibal. Okay, this is this is what a cannibal looks like, in case anyone is wondering. This is what a tiny cannibal looks like. He devours human flesh. He craves human flesh. All right. All right, kill me, opponent. Hey, at least if we lose this match, this league is now free because it disconnected and didn't let us submit, resubmit our sideboard. Oh yeah, super dead because we could have had mind break traps. That are, remember, actually, fuck. Remember, we literally cut Sylvan Scryings for those extra mind break traps. Li literally cut Sylvan Scryings for mind break traps. Li literally cut Sylvan Scryings for mind break traps. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, just like could have trapped the crap out of this. So I would have, would have, would have had a mind break trap in hand if I got to sideboard. God, God bless Magic Online. It's such good software. Do I want to keep playing Magic? I really, I really don't. Uh, let's finish the league. We'll finish the league. We'll finish the league and then we'll be done for the day. I was going to play more today, but I really don't feel like spending more time on Magic. I just don't like leaving leagues unfinished. Well, at least we know our sideboard plan is good. We can beat the storm decks with mind break traps. Would have had to win a third game there, but like. Two of the same Tron piece, no chromatics, easy mulligan. <laughs> so our opponent's playing Storm. I think that means I need to mulligan this. All right. This is a Storm player reboot earlier. Did I have a relic? Was there a relic in the seven? I didn't realize who I was if I mulligan. I didn't realize who I was until I'd mulliganed already. I didn't. Well, I would have kept a hand with relic in it if I realized I was playing against Storm. The seven wasn't good generically. Yeah, I didn't. I just looked at the seven generically and didn't realize that we got paired into the same Storm player. I, I, all right, I'm going to go on a small rant here. People that think spell pierce is because anything towards replacing the gate doesn't don't understand the type of card the spell pierce is. Spell pierce is not a control card. It is not a card you play in a control deck. Spell pierce is a tempo slash aggro card that you use to shit on control decks. It's not it's not good. It's not good in control decks. It's not that's not how that works. So yes, I agree. Uh, if you know your opponent's playing in Storm, we should have kept that seven. Even if Negate was rotating, that wouldn't have any impact on whether or not Spell Pierce sees, sees play. The difference between one and two mana is huge. It's huge. <laughs> like the number of people I keep saying like, oh man, Spell Pierce and Opt are going to make control playable. Opt might help make control playable. Spell Pierce has nothing to do with how playable control is going to be. Absolutely nothing. People just like, and that's the thing, right? Like, I feel like it's similar to why I often argue with people that aren't terribly bright about the type of deck that Tron is. Like, this Tron deck is a control deck. And people go, no, it's not a control deck. It's a ramp deck. It's like, no, it's a control deck. It plays removal. It plays card selection. It plays cantrips. It plays, um, it plays sweepers. Like, this is a control deck by every definition of a control deck. All right, I assume they're gonna untap and kill us here.
I know. You're upset I won't let you touch the mouse. Yeah, I probably should have done that. We are dead. Right. This guy knows we have mind break traps because we've got we got him once with those already today. <laughs> it's tough being two, huh? <laughs> yeah. Being two's a tough gig. Oh no, I cutting a caracas and leaving that in. Yep. Yes, this deck is shoop, and like that's what I'm saying. Like people that think this deck is inconsistent, don't mulligan enough with this deck. Like, we mulligan to four and had turn three Tron into Worm Coil. Like, mulligan more. I mulliganed a seven that was slow to set up into a six that was bad into a five that was bad into turn four Tron. You want pretzels? Oh, you want more chicken? Name's Thorn of Amethyst, have Mind Break Trap, deal. I have one Blooming Marsh as a fifth by you. Uh, we've beaten Storm the last two times I've played it now. Thing. What sucks with the double Mind Break Trap is they have another Cabal Therapy, they get both of them now. Puritan would be unplayable if it drew a card at the beginning of the next upkeep. Actually be unplayable. Karn? It's pretty unlucky. Don't have Karn. I think I'm actually just going to play the Blooming Marsh here. There's no... Well... No, that's not true. I'm going to play the Urza's Tower because if we draw Kozilek, I want to be able to cast Kozilek. I was trying to say, what's the reason to not... If I didn't have the Bayou, I'd probably play the Blooming Marsh, but because I have the Bayou to cast a Black Spell with next turn if we draw it, I think I'd prefer to... I think I'd prefer to have this. I don't, uh, Opt is not better than Serum Visions and Combo Decks. Combo Decks would much rather see more cards. Well, I guess you could describe first. It's really close. I don't think Opt is better than Serum Visions in a vacuum. I think if you don't care about the speed of your cards, you probably would rather have Serum Visions. Honestly, if they cast another spell this turn, I'm probably just going to Mind Break Trap it because I just don't want two traps in my hand to get Cabal Therapied. Like if they go like land and another cantrip, I'm gonna I'm gonna trap the cantrip. Maybe like a lot of the combo decks don't have time to dirtle that much, right? We're not drawing threats, but we're drawing disruption. Yeah, I think op opt is like the cantrip that just Kai control and modern has always wanted. Opt is the cantrip that just guy controls always water, right? Like the deck's always played like a flash game, but it wants a cantrip like it usually plays serum visions, but like being able to snap opt is pretty huge for them. We done here yet? I'm gonna like brainstorm or something in response here. Maybe abrupt decay my thorn. I'm gonna play this Bayou out so that way I can pop this relic plus play these by break traps. We're chain of vaporing my thorn of amethyst. Sure.
Play my old two mana chromatic star here. Like a list for green. I guess we technically have more black cards than green cards right now. Probably cycle for black. Yep. And uh, I'm actually going to escalate off of this. Uh, I'm going to escalate off of this Blooming Marsh. Oh, I should plus Karn first. They could chain a vapor my Karn here, so I don't get to take a card out of their hand, but it just concedes. No, there will definitely be more. We played, we played Vintage on Tuesday again. As always, check my YouTube channel. What do you want? So this hand is a keep against the generic opponent, but it's definitely a mulligan against Storm. Just like doesn't really do anything. Huh. Is it? So they mulligan to six and I can Ancient Stirrings on one. This hand's probably a mulligan, right? I have so many, I have so many high impact cards. I'm just gonna mulligan. Punished. I have to mulligan this. They mulliganed though. This, this hand is more than good. It's great. Uh, we played some blue red Delver and we played some storm tinker combo nonsense bullshit. It's like all the combos. It had tinker, it had tendrils, it had mentor, it had uh, vault key. This keeps fine. It just like hits a it's another land and it's great. I don't know, Rang. We are 3-1 in this league. The one round we lost was to a Magic Online bug. Two shots to the land. If we miss on the land for an... I guess we technically get three shots. We could pop this Relic. Relic and Brutality are main deck cards. It's two sideboard cards in the opener. And we did board in 10 cards, to be fair. And we mulliganed to five looking for them, so... If they want to kill me this turn, they got to do it through a Mind Break Trap. They could kill us here. Yep. Am I dead? Pedal Ritual Ritual Adnos. Nope, sweet. Ding. Fries are done. Bum 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 bum. Would you like an apple pie with a hat? Would you like an apple pie with a hat? Bum 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 bum. Alright, looking for a bayou at this point. Well, we can't cast Karn through Thorn. We need a buy. We'd prefer a buy you here. Am I supposed to cycle this? Now I'm gonna wait a turn. Preventing their past in flame skills is pretty important, especially with LED in play. Karn is basically a land, right? You already had a bunch of chicken and I think, do you want, do you want pretzels? You can have pretzels. I am not getting you more chicken right now. Recall here would be annoying. Just abrupt decay, sure.
And the last card is literally ad nauseum. Every time. Every time last card is literally ad nauseum. Oh. Well then. Deal. No, they're playing Ant. Ant just boards into empty. Ant often boards into empty. I think we're running out of time here. Really needed to hit Trod like that turn. I have Ugin's in my deck. That actually is bad because it takes a turn off the clock. We get a Tron piece into Ugin here. That one is definitely playing Ant. All right. All right, where's my tower of power? Where's my tower of power? Can stir or cantrip into tower. One turn too late. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. Yep, opponent's opponent had a Also, fuck magic online for repairs too. That's that's really annoying. Like, if I wanted to sit here and play against the same person over and over again in a league, like, why would, why would I, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to play against the same person over and over again in a league. So, we lost, we genuinely lost this batch here. I probably, no, I don't think I had different lines there, but this one, this one we 10 out of 10 lost to Magic Online just being a giant, a giant pile of crap. Yeah, we played the same, the same Storm player twice there. And actually, if I would have... If I would have noticed we played where we got a repair into the same player in game one, we probably could have won game one in this match because I would have kept a hand with Relic in it. Uh, at any rate, I have a rule that when I get frustrated,